Hey guys, um, I just did a couple of bags going for fruit in and then remembered that I had said that I was going to do um, a video next time I did some of the bags um, just to show the different cuts that I've done. Um, I'll show you the two that I've already done actually because these, these are the ones that I did on straw which are a little bit less mycelium than anything else. So I did just like a letterbox one on this one uh, in just like an area where the mycelium seems to be popping. Um, these have just been on the shelf for a, a long time so I don't, I don't really want to carry on incubating them. So I'm just gonna get these fruit in. This one I'm doing just top fruit in. Um, so I've just cut the top of the bag right across the seal seam and uh, then just cut down the sides to the edge of the substrate and just peeled that back. I'm just gonna let that go out the side. I might flip it on its, flip it this way. Uh, if it seems like that might be a bit better for it. But um, yeah, a good thing about this that I've seen is that uh, after you get your first flush out the top, you can just sort of scrape away everything after you've harvested your first flush. Um, tuck one of these sides in down here and then just push the other one over that way and just sort of wrap it round. Um, I'll stick it down with some micro pore tape or something. Um, and then I'll just side fruit after that. Um, and see how a second flush goes on that, see if we get a third one. Um, it's all just testing really. Um, we've had good results so far from everything, which you'll see over here. We'll be harvesting a couple of those today and one of them tomorrow. Um, yeah, back to the bags we're doing now. Um, so we have two gay oysters and one pink. Um, this one's mental. Like, I, the other day I was thinking about top fruit in this, but um, the mycelium is just growing so heavy up the sides that I don't even know if I should. I'm kind of tempted to just do like a couple of little slits around sort of here or something. See how that goes. Like, just do a couple of little crisscrosses. This one I'm tempted to fruit on top. This one I'm definitely front tempted to fruit on the top um because i don't know if you can see but yeah there's loads of pins coming out the top so i kind of just want to like encourage that to go uh in the path that it's already desiring to go really um because as i said i can still probably get a side off of it there's pink like my mycelium growth all the way down here so i reckon i could get a couple of little plugs in there on the second flush or something um, but yeah, so I've uh, sanitized my side all the way down, um, I've given the bags a quick spray. Yeah, so again, I can't really like stress enough that um, how, how much this is just testing different ways. Um, there seems to be so, such a um, differing consensus online when we try to research most of this. Um, so I don't know, like I, I reckon that like something that might work in one part of the world, may not in another. Uh, God knows, it's all here so for me. I haven't got a clue. But all I'm trying to do is trying to work out what works best for us, um, how we can get the best results for ourselves and for our customers. So, yeah. Careful to go straight under the seal seam. So that. Ooh, hello. Very mushroomy. So we will just pop this on the shelf then. There we go. Lovely pride in place. Right, I'll get this one out of the way because I know I'm going to top through this one. So I'll just go for that. better than a good pair of kitchen shears for a job like this. Aha. Pop this in. And then what are we going to do with you? I'm just going to do 
some like little crisscrossing. Okay, nice, we'll see how that one goes.